What's up guys, we've got a question on the fan page. If you guys go there, it's the fan group. You can post all your videos, post your questions, and we'll interact with each other. The question was, how can I have a strong core? So the whole midsection, including the lower back, um, that's all to stabilize the spine, and you guys might know it as the six pack. Uh, that's the rectus abdominis, the six pack. It goes straight down the middle, attaches down in the roots, and it attaches up here, the rib cage, and goes in like a vest. Um, the question was, how can we have a strong core without an overactive rectus abdominis? Because when you're doing crunches, that's all you're working is a rectus abdominis. So I'll show you the one exercise that I think is like one of the hardest ab exercises for myself because of how long my body is, and it's the side plank crunch. So let's, I'll show you guys real quick. First thing first is make sure you don't get your shoes too dirty if you're on uh, an uneven surface or you know like the red track like I got here. So it's a side plank, same thing as a normal plank, the side. And you wanna make sure the body is stiff as a plank, plank of wood, that's the idea. So you're gonna crunch, and I like to grab right here because you can really feel the crunch and it's not really something where I can show you guys. It's not really something where you know take off your shirt and you see the muscle moving. Um, it's a big block. You guys know when it, with the fitness models they're really thin, low body fat percentage. You see it real, you see it defined, but there's no multiple abs there. So it's not something I could show you working. So when you're doing it, make sure you grab, make sure you're not leaning over. But the idea is to get the hip as high as you can. So crunch and then relax down to the floor, crunch back up. I can barely make 20, so go to 20. You'll find that it's a lot harder than it looks. Try it out and get a strong core. Peace.